I don't know what, whether she's left or right or center, but here's Janet Kuypers. <laughs> We don't read and write poetry because it is cute. No. We read and write poetry because we are human beings. This is a quote on my poetry vaults page from Dead Poet Society with Robin Williams as John Keaton. Yeah. I thought I would just share that. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, you already brought it up, so I thought I would just share that. I, um, back in the day when I lived in Chicago, before I ran the Poetry of Mike, it, um, one guy ran it, and he did a lot of dreams poems, and so I started doing dreams poems. And in this book, da 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 called On the Edge, hi, I just act like I'm posing again. Yay! <laughs> um, it's a poem of a weird dream, and so I thought I'd share it with you. Just, it's called Dreams 12, 3, 12. So I was in the cul-de-sac on my street, and I had to use the washroom. So I thought of going to the bathroom in my house. It was a really gorgeous bathroom in my house. It had floor-to-ceiling windows so that you could see the world while you were going to the bathroom. But I figured that since people were on my street all going to a neighbor's garage sale, that wouldn't necessarily, I shouldn't actually use my own bathroom for this, where everyone could actually see me sitting at the bathroom on the toilet. Looking back, why did I have a bathroom like that, with floor-to-ceiling windows in a populated area? I mean, what did I want to exp what, what, what did I want this exposed bathroom? What, so I could feel like I would commune with nature or something? I have no idea. Either way, I walked into the neighbor's house. I assumed I asked their permission to use their washroom, but I really can't remember. And I went to this small bathroom, closed the door, pulled my pants down, and I sat on the toilet. And then I looked up and I saw that this bathroom actually had two doors on two opposite adjacent walls. And that's when someone walked in and went through to the other door. And I thought, wait a minute, I'm using this bathroom. Why does somebody just pay no attention and walk right through to the other side? And then at that moment, somebody else started to walk through the one door. <laughs> And so I said, excuse me, what are you doing? I'm using the bathroom here. And they responded, but this is the only way to get through. And I'm sure there was another way to get through. But then I realized that all these people were out, they were here for this garage sale, and they were just walking through to look at more of my neighbor's belongings for sale. As more people came walking through, I couldn't believe that strangers were walking through this bathroom and they were never even noticing me while I was sitting on the toilet with my pants down because they all were just so focused on looking for somebody else's belongings. I don't know. I don't think I have bathroom issues, but I just don't like feeling so exposed. <laughs> got it through and there's more stuff to see or something, I don't know. Um, sorry about that. Uh, I've got two relatively short recent ones. This one uh, is titled Venezuela is mowed down by tanks. I heard that protesters in Venezuela were mowed down by tanks. And I thought about the other side of the world. And then I thought about this side of the world. And one more for you, as I had said. I have heard this before, or read this before. And I have no idea. But it was something I wrote after reading the news about Facebook. So. It's a freedom of speech we can all do. There are those who will demand personal freedom, kicking and screaming for the First Amendment. But Facebook, a platform, a Facebook, a platform for people to share everything, 
has just banned some people and groups precisely because of their speech. And sure, there's a separation of there's a separation of speech that is dangerous and false versus just dangerous. Like shouting fire in a crowded theater can cause panic, referenced by a Supreme Court case from a century ago. And yes, I get it. Freedom of speech means freedom from the government. And the last time I checked, Facebook wasn't our government. <laughs> but at times like these, it makes me wonder which has more influence over our lives. <laughs>